Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. So I remember in my residency, a uh, lot of night duties, a lot of hard work. You guys are also working so hard. I know sometimes the environment gets toxic. Sometimes you have so much of duties and so much of labor calls that you don't have time to study. And for that only I'm there, that uh, whenever you get time free in your night duties, day duties, anytime, just spare some time and watch at least one video per day and make notes so make sure you're watching one video per day you should be dedicated if it's a 30 minutes video you divide it also but make sure you're watching at least one video per day for starting from the first year of your residency hello everyone welcome to pediatrics by dr anand this is the neonatology chapter number two in this segment we're going to talk about wonderful topics like we're going to talk about the most commonest cause of neonatal mortality rate and the five mortality rate we also going to talk about the antenatal corticosteroids therapy for preterm birth very commonly asked question about the betamethasone dexamethasone how do you give root contraindications simple happy questions and also very very important we're going to talk about the classification of neonates what is extremely preterm early preterm moderate preterm and late preterm all these questions are important for exam purpose which are a lot of time we do mistakes also i have seen in my seniors and juniors so we'll finish them very very beautifully before starting any segment we always have a quote and what is the quote for today the quote for today is this lot of mistakes we do in life by mistake here and there or even you say them failures or whatever you call them either you can put everything on your head and make your head very heavy or you can use them as a ladder and do something great in your life you know a very beautiful quote which says you know that the people who hate me people who hate me motivate me so people who hate me motivate me okay so this is important so try to try to if someone is saying bad thing to you instead of retaliating or abusing him back you better do uh, put that aggression in your work in your positive aura and make yourself better i think that way it will make much bigger sense now the topic of choice most commonest cause of under five mortality rate and neonatal mortality rate so we have a very beautiful topic the mnemonic we have is punjab national bank pnb Punjab National Bank is the mnemonic for the most commonest cause of neonatal mortality rate and under 5 mortality rate. So P for very importantly that is prematurity. So see what again relax think what am I asking you most commonest cause of newborns dying in India or under 5 babies dying in India okay. So all both have the same answers and both these three top answers are the neonatology neonatal problem so p for you can say complications of prematurity p for complications of prematurity n for neonatal infections n for neonatal infections and b for birth asphyxia b for birth asphyxia so all these three things are the uh, most commonest cause of neonatal mortality rate and under 5 mortality rate so prematurity neonatal infections and birth asphyxia pnb is the mnemonic for this this is the most commonest cause of under 5 mortality rate and, and uh, neonatal mortality rate in one of the this uh, aims question also they had asked regarding the ascending order also of the most commonest causes so this is the ascending order you should know okay yes perfect perfect done huh. so is if is early delivery planned how can we help the baby if is early delivery planned how can we help the baby how can you help the baby if you are planning for early delivery naturally one very simple pointer which we all know that antenatal steroids to the mother we're gonna give antenatal steroids so we all know antenatal steroids to the mother they are given to the mother for the baby's lung maturity they has a very clear understanding here they are given to the mother when she is pregnant when she has a baby inside her tummy and that so to the mother for her baby's lung maturity once the baby is out once the baby is out then how can we help the baby obviously we can help the baby by giving surfactant to the baby by giving surfactant to the baby and how do you give surfactant to the baby by the insure technique one of the very latest question what is insure technique insure technique is nothing but intubate surfactant and extubate 
so intubate surfactant and extubate you intubate the child give surfactant and extubate the child is known as a, a insure technique is done for the babies who are suffering from a disease known as hyaline membrane disease or also known as respiratory distress syndrome hmd hmd is a dedicated uh, topic we're gonna do anyhow okay so is early delivery planned yes if the mother is pregnant you're gonna give, st give steroids to the mother if the and when she's pregnant once the baby is out there is no use of giving steroids to the mother you directly give surfactant to the baby by using the insure technique and insure technique star mark is an mcq okay next question antenatal steroids antenatal steroids what are the options we have for antenatal steroids so we all know that a b c d b for betamethasone and d for dexamethasone b for betamethasone and d for dexamethasone is the mnemonic and what is the dose of betamethasone the dose of betamethasone is 12 into 2 is 24 12 into 2 is 24 is the mnemonic that is 12 mg two doses 24 hours apart so 12 mg two doses 24 hours apart are the is the dose for betamethasone whereas 6 mg four doses 12 hours apart that is the dose for dexamethasone. So 12 mg, two doses, 24 hours apart for betamethasone and 6 mg, four doses, 12 hours apart for the dexamethasone. So this is the mnemonic we must appreciate for the betamethasone and dexamethasone. And how do, and once the baby is out, we are giving surfactant to the baby. Achha, how this betamethasone and dexamethasone are given? This betamethasone and dexamethasone are given intramuscular. They are given intramuscular to the mother. I am to the mother. As a one more question, they ask, what is the absolute contraindication? What is the absolute contraindication of giving steroids to the mother? This also is an exam question. That what is the absolute contraindication of giving steroids to the mother? If the mother, if the case is of chorioamnionitis, if the case is of chorioamnionitis, in that condition, very importantly, we don't give steroids to the mother. If the mother is suffering from chorioamnionitis, betamethasone, dexamethasone is not given. And very importantly, how do you know if the mother is suffering from chorioamnionitis? Foul smelling liquor. Foul smelling liquor is something must appreciate for the exam purpose. Foul smelling liquor. Liquor. Okay. So this is important for this one for the understanding. And one more question: which mother or which weaker mothers, you know, we are expecting to give this antenatal steroids? 24 to 34 weaker. 24 to 34 weeks of pregnancy who are planned for a for a urgent, you know, within 24 hours, they have a leaking per vagina and we are expecting a delivery. For that mothers, we are giving this antenatal corticosteroids. So the answer is 24 to 34 weaker. Remember that, okay? And it is given intramuscular. That is important for the exam purpose a beautiful question let's see who can answer which one of the following which one of the following is strongly recommended intervention to reduce the mortality and prevent the future neurodevelopmental impairment in a preterm neonate in a preterm neonate how can you help the preterm neonate the question is the answer is ivig administration when are you giving ivig ivig is given in kawasaki disease gullian barre disease it is given for you know kind of a last resort for neonatal sepsis or you know, even even phototherapy also so this is not the right answer okay use of insulin for hyperglycemia no avoiding aminoglycoside exposure no the best answer for this question is use of antenatal corticosteroids is the best answer perfect very good next question aims question what is the recommended dose of steroids for the attaining the fetal lung maturity so very simple question so we all know that so what do you think we all know 12 into 2 is 24 so 12 mg two doses 24 hours apart betamethasone is the answer for this question it's a very beautiful question let's go further yes important definition very important for exam purpose what is a neonate what is a neonate so 0 to 28 days of life 0 to 28 days of life that is known as a neonate and this neonate is divided into 0 to 7 days is known as early neonate and 7 to 28 days is known as a late neonate. So 0 to 28 days total neonate we call it 0 to 7 early neonate and 7 to 28 days of life is late neonate. 28 days of life till 1 year. 28 days of life till 1 year is known as infant. It is known as infant. See, my HOD used to say common things are common and rare things are rare. So common question, we do a lot of mistakes. So what is an infant till one year of life is known as an infant. Remember very easy one to three, 
थ्री टू सिक्स एंड सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व वन टू थ्री थ्री टू सिक्स एंड सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व सो वन टू थ्री ईयर इज नोन एज टॉडलर थ्री टू सिक्स ईयर इज नोन एज प्री स्कूल एंड सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व ईयर इज नोन एज अ स्कूल गोइंग पीरियड वॉट एवर वी आर रीडिंग वी आर रीडिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट टाइम सो आई रिपीट अगेन जीरो टू सेवन डेज ऑफ लाइफ अर्ली न्यू यूनिट सेवन टू ट्वेंटी एट डेज ऑफ लाइफ लेट न्यू यूनिट ट्वेंटी एट डेज ऑफ लाइफ टिल वन ईयर इन्फेंट वन टू थ्री टॉडलर थ्री टू सिक्स प्री स्कूल एंड सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व इज स्कूल गोइंग पीरियड डन दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके दिस क्यूटी पाई स्लीपिंग वेरी नाइस लेट इम स्लीप ओके सो दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन वी हैव डन अच्छा वन मोर क्वेश्चन दे आस्क इन एग्जाम दैट वेन एवर अ न्यू बॉर्न बेबी इज बॉर्न डू वी गिव सम सम वाइटमिन टू अ न्यू बॉर्न बेबी वेन एवर अ न्यू बॉर्न इज बॉर्न विच इज द बेसिक थिंग वी गिव टू अ न्यू बॉर्न रिमेंबर ऑलवेज ब्रेस्ट मिल्क ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज डेफिशियंट इन वाइटमिन डी एंड वाइटमिन के breast milk is an exam question again breast milk is deficient in vitamin d vitamin k and vitamin b12 if she is a pure vegetarian that is why we are giving vitamin d to a newborn 400 international units for term and double of that for the preterm so 400 iu for terms and 800 iu for preterms is the dose of vitamin d which we give to a newborn baby it is given every day till one year it is given every day till one year okay this is vitamin d number 1 number 2 very importantly one more thing you should know vitamin d this is a syrup okay this one is a syrup now what about the vitamin k vitamin k is the injection we have the injection vitamin k so na ha so one number one very importantly how do you give injections to a newborn at the anterolateral aspect of the thigh at the anterolateral aspect of the thigh एंटीरो लैटरल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द थाई वन क्वेश्चन इन वन नर्सिंग एग्जाम क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन एट कम विच मसल डू वी यूजली प्रिक द मसल विच वी प्रिक वाइल गिविंग द एंटीरो लैटरल इंजेक्शन इज नथिंग बट वेस्टर्स लैटरल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मसल वेस्टर्स लैटरल इज द मसल विच वी प्रिक वाइल गिविंग इंजेक्शन टू अ न्यू बॉर्न रिमेंबर दैट अच्छा बट वाई आर वी गिविंग वाइटामिन के टू अ न्यू बॉर्न हम देख क्यों रहे वाई आर वी गिविंग दैट बिकॉज नंबर वन breast milk is deficient in vitamin k just now i told you and second most important point newborn's liver basically newborn's liver is immature what is the function of liver the function of liver is nothing but to make the vitamin k dependent clotting factor see knowledge is very important okay knowledge is very very important we always say acche se padhai karo agar knowledge nahi hai to bahar koi kutta nahi puchne wala not even a stray dog will look at you if you don't have a wonderful intellect and a wonderful knowledge so why are we giving vitamin k to a newborn number 1 breast milk is deficient in vitamin k number 2 newborn's liver basically is immature and liver's function is to make vitamin k dependent clotting factors one more exam question what are the vitamin k dependent clotting factors so vitamin k dependent clotting factors are 2 7 9 10 so 2 7 9 10 are vitamin k dependent and clotting factors more the liver is immature more the baby will not be able to make this clotting factors and he will start bleeding out so vitamin d and vitamin k is something which we give to every newborn baby remember that let's revise so what is a neonatal period so we all know that 0 to 28 days of life is a neonatal period one next important point what is early neonatal period 0 to 7 days of life is a early neonatal period then what is late neonatal period 7 to 28 days of life is a late neonatal neonatal period then after that what is okay now very important if i ask you what is the normal weight of a newborn now who will tell what is the normal weight of a newborn one of my friend junior he said 2.5 kg if 2.5 kg is the normal weight of a newborn what about 2.7 kg 2.9 kg so the normal weight of a newborn is 2.5 to 4 kg the normal weight of a newborn is 2.5 to 4 kg and if i ask you a question what is the average indian baby weight so average indian baby weight has to be one number so 3 kg 3 kg is the average indian baby weight so if 2.5 to 4 kg is the normal weight of a newborn then less than 2.5 kg what do you say so less than 2.5 kg we all know that that is nothing but low birth weight so less than 2.5 is low birth weight less than 1.5 is very low birth weight and less than 1 kg is extremely low birth weight so low birth weight 
वेरी लो बर्थ वेट एंड एक्सट्रीमली लो बर्थ वेट लेस देन टू पॉइंट फाइव लेस देन वन पॉइंट फाइव लेस देन वन के जी सिंपल टॉप क्लास आंसर मस्ट अप्रिशिएट फॉर द एग्जाम पर्पज सो एक्सट्रीमली लो बर्थ वेट इज लेस देन वन के जी वेरी लो बर्थ वेट इज लेस देन वन पॉइंट फाइव के जी डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मच अच्छा देन इफ टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर के जी इज द नॉर्मल वेट ऑफ अ न्यू बॉर्न देन मोर देन फोर के जी बेबी इज नोन एज दैट बेबी इज नोन एज अ लार्ज बेबी और अ बिग बेबी और अ मैक्रोसोमिक बेबी सो मोर देन फोर के जी इज अ मैक्रोसोमिक बेबी विच यू शुड रूल आउट इनफेंट ऑफ डायबिटिक मदर विच वी हैव डन इन द क्लासेस सो दैट यू शुड नो सो दिस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू नेट्स जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू इफ आई हैव टू क्लासीफाई न्यू नेट्स जस्ट नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड लॉट ऑफ गुड सिलेबस सो क्लासीफाई न्यू नेट्स वी हैव क्लासीफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ बर्थ वेट येस और नो लेस देन टू पॉइंट फाइव लो बर्थ वेट लेस देन वन पॉइंट फाइव वेरी लो बर्थ वेट एंड लेस देन वन के जी एक्सट्रीमली लो बर्थ वेट सो द क्लासिफिकेशन of new nets according to the birth weight we have done so i hope you have liked the video so just enjoy watch all the videos with very chilled out you know thought process first year of residency is little difficult where you have to put lot of candle a lot of sample work second year residency it is all about uh, thesis 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 and third you have to third year you have to submit your thesis and at the same time passed with very good marks so everything will make sense by the end of the journey we always say everything will make sense by the end of the journey so don't worry and uh, we are always there please take care thank you